Crash Champ Chong here with Xbox Australia. This is day two of Gamescom. Now the thing is, I'm gonna go straight into it. Let's get to our first game you see behind me. It's Minecraft on Xbox One. This game doesn't actually have a release date just yet, but I'm super excited for it. As you can see behind me, they're playing in split screen. I can't wait to get this game on my Xbox One. It does look a little bit better than the previous one on the 360. I'm not sure how it compares to the PC version since I don't really play on PC, but as I said, I'm excited to jump on my couch, play this game, chill out on the 60s flat screen and play Minecraft. It's looking awesome and hopefully you guys are excited for it as I am. But anyway, let's get to the next game. So the next game I'm talking about today is Batman Arkham Knight. Now the Arkham series is one of my favorite series of video games, especially because I'm a massive Batman fan. Now the thing is, since this game is so highly rated for me, I'm kind of disappointed with what I've seen. Not really, but I still enjoy it, but it's like, I don't know where I'm sitting with this. The main reason I say that is they've added this whole new open world and it feels just a little bit empty. But on top of that, it's still a whole lot of fun. The game looks incredible, seriously. It looks insanely good. Switching from last gen to this new gen, it just looks amazing. Yeah, I'm not sure where I sit with this one. I'm excited for Batman Arkham Knight because I'm a massive Batman fan, massive Arkham series fan, and I'm just excited to see where this does go. Anyway, let's get to the next game. Dying Light. That's the next game I'm talking about, and it's bloody awesome. No, I'm not just saying bloody because it's a zombie game. It is bloody awesome. Seriously, a good zombie game is finally on consoles. We finally get to beat up zombies, destroy them, just kill them all, and it's on consoles. You can do it on your couch now. The reason I say that is because most of these zombie games that are really, really, really good, like this game, are usually on PC, but now we get to play it on the Xbox One and console, which is just awesome. Every time I see Dying Light, it gets better and better. I saw it briefly at E3. I got my hands on it yesterday here, and I don't know. It's just so much fun. Beating up zombies, actually being tactical about things, not just beating them up, just you know, going crazy. You can actually really think about stuff and how to approach the situation. So yeah, Dying Light, awesome. I can't wait for it. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, yeah, let's get to our next game. All right, so I just checked out Sunset Overdrive again. I played this game a bunch. I played it back in E3, and I felt it was a little slow originally, but now they've souped it up. It's just so much faster. It's so much better, and just the pace has just completely changed. It was pretty fast back at E3, but now here at Gamescom, it just feels a lot faster overall. Additionally, the frame rate looks a lot better now, so I'm excited to see what the game will look like when it's out. Now, let me know what you guys think of Sunset Overdrive. Are you excited for it as I am? Because I'm pretty excited for this game. Well, I'm excited for a bunch of games that are at this show. I'm just excited for every single game because this is going to be a crazy holiday season. But anyway, let's get to the next game. So we are reporting on Assassin's Creed Unity because Champ Sean couldn't make it. The biggest difference that I noticed is that all of your clothing actually influences your specs like damage and stealth, which is really cool. You can jump down without diving into a hay bale. You can just hold down the right trigger and B, and the dude will find a path down. Genuinely handy change. Without killing himself, which is fantastic, because I always died that way. So there we have it. Gamescom has come to an end for me. It's still gonna run all weekend, so that's pretty damn epic. But yeah, I'm finished. I'm heading back to Australia. I've had a blast. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed these videos that I've provided for you guys. But anyway, yeah, um, I might do a recap video or something, but I'm super exhausted. I need to go back to Australia, go chill out. But yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Smack like button if you did, and uh, I'm out of here.